Today we're going to talk about the CC Pocket Radio and some of the common user questions we receive from owners. One of the first questions is about placing batteries in the radio. The radio has a somewhat unique battery compartment cover. There's a long slot right here and a short indent right here. This is meant for you to put your fingernail in and then gently push down and sideways to open the battery compartment. You will notice on the sticker we have a picture showing that you can use a tool or implement, which is perfectly fine to do. Gently push down and sideways to open the cover door. If you push down too hard or sideways too hard, you can break this tiny little notch right here on the side. So do so with care. Once we have it open, we can slide in our two batteries and then replace the compartment lid. Another question we will sometimes get is how come the power button won't work? As you can see here on the screen, there's a tiny little key which means the lock switch is active. That means here on the side, the switch is up. Push down, the key is gone from the screen, press the red button, and the radio powers on. Another question we will sometimes get is, why can't I get any audio when I turn my radio on? It shows the frequency, but there's no audio. The audio switch is here on the left side. All the way up sends the audio to the headphone jack. All the way down sends the audio to the speaker in the front. So we push it down, and now we have audio. From time to time we hear, I can turn my radio on, but all I get is the weather band. Pressing the band button does not change bands. That's because we have the alert icon here. Go ahead and turn the radio off. Press and hold the alert button. Alert goes away. Turn the radio back on. And you can now change bands. Something else we get asked about is where when someone is using the radio on AM and they're trying to get in their favorite station, but it's not quite lining up. For example, right now, I'm going to try and get in our local station of 1480. See 1476, 1485, but no 1480. This is because the radio is in 9 kilohertz mode. 9 kilohertz is used in Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. 10 kilohertz is what we use here in North America and South America. With our older radios, it was really easy to accidentally change this setting by pressing the 5 button for a few seconds when the power was off. With the newest radios that have come out since January of 2023, it's now a 2 button function of 2 and 5 and takes a longer press. As soon as we see a 10 show up on the screen, we can let go. All right, let's turn the radio back on. Look at that, 1480. We're back to 10 kilohertz mode. That's how to solve that. If you have any more questions, please contact us. We're happy to help.